Well, happy Friday, everybody. And here we are again for some more drawing together. I'm glad you're here to join me. And uh, you may notice here that um, it's been the same thing every day, hasn't it? We have a little routine. And I'd like to hear from you as we go forward and we keep doing these shows, um, how you like it. And if there are things you'd like me to try that maybe I haven't done before, because I really want this to be something that you enjoy and that I enjoy. So let's talk about that and uh, we'll keep it going. Um, you know, I wanted to ask if all of you out there, you know, being at home for such a um, extended period of time, if you have some books that you love to read, if you have books at home, if you have things to read, you have books to look at, you have things that um, you like to just go to over and over again. Maybe you have a comic that you love to read over and over. Uh, myself, I currently right now, I, I'm reading a book about anti-gravity. And I have to tell you, uh, it is impossible to put it down. All right, let's do some drawing. Are you ready? Here we go. Now, remember, you can use a pencil, a pen, a marker. It does not matter, anything you like. You may notice here at the top of my list of things to do that we have a you draw it, that's where I draw, and then you draw along with me. And then we normally have a what is it, but I'm skipping that today. And the reason is because the you draw it that we're gonna do might take us a little longer. It's a little more complicated. So I, I think you're gonna really enjoy it. And I can't wait to see what you draw. Remember, please send me pictures of the drawings you do on Twitter, at Kyle T. Webster. I really wanna see what you guys are doing. I love to get pictures of the drawings you do. So we're gonna jump right in and start, okay? Because this one might take us a little while. Here we go. All right, now just like a lot of drawings, we start with a simple line, and here it is. Just like that. Next, we add a little curl on this side, and then a curl on the other. Okay. Now I'm going to draw a line right through this longer line. Are you ready? Watch this. I'm gonna go down and stop about there. Okay. Next, you may have guessed it. We're doing the same thing on the other side. Down and through. All right, now here, I'm going to connect these two lines I just drew at the bottom. And it's going to look like this. I'm going to go down like this and down like this. So it's like a V, a V shape, but very wide. I wonder if anybody can already guess what we're drawing. And if you can, that's fine. And if not, it doesn't matter. Okay. Next step, I'm going to draw a line from this corner, one of those longer lines, down to about there. And then I'm going to draw straight across to about there. You see, I went further than where I drew that third line from the beginning of the drawing there, right? Hey, everybody with me so far? Check the chat here. Make sure we're all caught up. All right. Yes, there was a question about what tablet I'm using. I am using a Wacom tablet. This is a Wacom 22 HD tablet. Probably my favorite model they ever made. All righty, let's keep going. Next step, a little line there and a little line there. It's like an upside down V. And then I'm just gonna connect those to these corners here, okay? One and two. Now I know you can do that, no problem. Here comes an interesting line. I'm gonna start about here 
and make a long curved line to about there. See how it went farther than any other line we've drawn so far to the left? And then I'm gonna do a little line like this. Followed by a line that's very similar to the long line that we just did. Only it's going to be stopping there. Okay. Now remember with these drawings, yours might not look exactly like mine. And that totally doesn't matter. Not one bit. If they're similar, if they're kind of the same, then you've got it. But these are your drawings. They're going to always look a little different. All right, here comes a simple one. Boop, a little straight line like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take this uh, corner here and come up and stop like that. I'm heading up towards this corner here, right? But I'm not going all the way up. I'm gonna keep it going, but I'm gonna stop about there, okay? A little space. Here comes another long line. Now this one is going to be straight-ish, but you could make it curved if you want, big curve. I'm gonna make mine straight. Are you ready? It's gonna go straight out this way and stop about there. All right. And down like this. And then back like that. All right, now how am I doing? Are we going too fast? Let's see. Someone said a chef. <laughs> hmm. No, not quite. All right. Another line like that. Okay. Here comes a sort of a wide C shape. And another one up here. And now I'm going to here at the base draw a circle like that or an oval doesn't matter and then a line that touches it and another one on the other side like that see how i left the top of the circle sticking up just a little bit you don't have to do that now here's a line here and one right next to it and then the same on the other side. I bet lots of people now are figuring out what we're doing, aren't they? Let's see. Seeing some good guesses in there. Seeing some pretty good guesses. Next. Here comes another one of those long lines. So watch, ready? I'm gonna go down and around to about there. Then I'm going to curve across like that. Down and around a little bit and then curving it. And now I'm gonna start from here and go up and then to the center like that. All right. Now with this must be really getting clear what we're doing here. And you know what? The next thing I do is probably going to really give it away. Here it comes. Watch carefully. I'm going to draw up and then loop and then up and then down. Kind of like the letter M with a little loop in it. Does that look like something to you? I bet you've seen that shape before. Okay, starting from the top of this line. Watch this. It's like a backwards C shape. I go this way and then that way.
And then I say, yep, like that. And then I start about here and I'm going to do the same backward C shape. I'm going to make it bigger and I'm going to stop it right there. Okay. Here we go. Up and out and stop like that. And once again, here comes that detail around loop and around okay it's a rodeo cowboy all right let's make a line here so he can zip up his pants got to be able to zip your pants up and watch this i'm going to make a line from here to there because you have to put things in your pockets when you're a cowboy. Lots of important things. I don't know what they are. Maybe you can tell me. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but I'm going to make it a little skinnier. See that? Because his leg is coming up. So that pocket's going to change its shape. Sometimes we do some more realistic stuff in these drawings, right? Now, once again, we have two hands to draw. Now, these hands are basically balled up into fists. So let me show you some simple ways to handle this. Now on this hand here, all I'm gonna do is say one, two, three. That's it, nothing fancy, okay? And right here, I'm going to do a teeny little bump like that. And that's the thumb. Everybody okay? Everybody with me on this? Now for the next one, I'm going to get a little closer so you can really see what I do. I want to show you this trick for how to draw a fist that looks like this. A nice simple cartoon fist. What you do is you come about halfway up this circle here, right? Now watch. I'm going to draw a line across like that. Okay. And then I just do this. One, and I leave it right there. Look at that, that's the thumb crossing over the fingers. And now we just say one, two, and three, okay? And now the fourth line is going to just kind of curve in like that. And there you have a fist. You could do this anytime you like. Drawing a superhero, right? Drawing somebody who's just raising up their hands or doing something with fists. There's a simple, easy, cartoony way to draw a hand shaped like a fist. Alrighty. Now let's get back to uh, our cowboy. Are you ready? Top of the hat. Here we go. I'm going to loop down and come back up. One and two. Okay. And next, here comes our nose. Now, before I draw the nose, I'm going to show you some choices. Watch this. Off to the side here, I want you to see some things. Nose number one. Down, up, down, up, down, and up. Nose number two, down, around, loop, loop, and up. Nose number three, triangle, one, two, three, okay. Another one, round and up, one, two, Look at all these choices we have. How about just a triangle? Sure, why not? Totally fine, up to you. And let's do one more. I like this one. We're gonna go around, okay? 
and then one, two, three, and around. We just did six noses. They're all different. You could keep going if you like. I can do this, and then this, and this. The skinny nose, whoop. So many ways to go. Come up with your own shapes. I wanted to show you all of these because you can just put any old nose on this cowboy you want. And I'm gonna do it like this. I'm just gonna start here. One, two, three, four, five, and up. Like a line with an M at the bottom. And he's a fancy cowboy and he's whistling while he's doing his rodeo trick here with a lasso, which we'll get to. So I'm gonna make his mouth whistle and all I have to do is make a little circle like that. Can you whistle? I won a whistling competition once. Well, my mouth is too dry, I guess. Also, I didn't win the whistling competition with a big crowd. It was actually a competition between my twin brother and I, but still a competition and I did win. And he'll tell you otherwise, but since I'm the only one who's on camera right now, I can say that. I'm gonna give this guy a little goatee, because it's funny. Three little lines under the mouth. And now for the eyes. Circle here, circle there. But I'll remind you that yesterday we looked at 14 different ways to draw eyes. So do whatever you like. If you didn't see that episode, by the way, it's archived. You can watch it anytime on YouTube or on Behance. All right, now I'm gonna do this with the eyes. Look at this. I'm gonna draw these little half circles, color them in. I'm gonna have him looking to the left because that's where I'm going to draw his lasso, okay? Next. Gonna give this cowboy some ears. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go up and then straight down like that. And then up and straight down like that. Okay. Now, before I finish, I want you to look at your cowboy and I want you to be thinking, after we finish this, what are some ways that you could make it even more your own? You could add a pattern on the shirt. You could give him a little tie. You could add different details. Um, you could give him a certain setting, right? You could change the face. You could change the shape of his hat, make his hat taller, make it shorter. So many things you can do. Here comes the lasso. Ready, folks? This is going to be an S curve. Watch this. S. And now here comes a loop. Ready? Down, loop, and around. Okay. And now the big lasso itself. I'm going to draw a reverse sort of a C curve. Stop. You all know what a figure eight looks like, right? An eight, like that. I'm gonna draw a long eight and I'm going to have it sort of sideways. So we're gonna go around and up and around. Your lasso shape can be any old thing. It can be any sort of circular shape or eight or any kind of wobbly thing. It could look like that, right? It doesn't matter. It could look like a pizza flying up in the air. It's still gonna look like a lasso because it's tied to the rest of that string. And here at the bottom, I'm gonna do this. One, two. And then one, two, and three. And this is me showing him that he's in the dust, he's in the sand, and he's kicking up dust and sand. You can do so many special effects with just a few lines. All right, I will leave it up to you. I'm gonna finish this with a little line here, down for the shirt. But I'll leave it up to you to customize, to make this your own, this funny cowboy. And do, do however you want. Okay. All right. So we have an animal activity. 
And I'd like to look at the suggestions in the chat. So I'm going to be taking a look here to see what we've got. I wish I could draw like this as I can. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Howdy, y'all. I'm going to show you how to use good old magic lasso tool in PS. Haha, <laughs> that's Jan in Photoshop. All right, I think I need some shrinking powder for this guy. I'll take some out of my pocket and just sprinkle it on there. And down he goes and off. To the right. Folks, I actually had an email request for a uh, animal today. And I think I have to honor that. Um, but I want to see if uh, it comes up in the chat. Oh, there it is. I knew it. I knew it. I'm going right for it because we are uh, running out of time. I knew that was a long one. So watch me go. Are you ready? Elephant on a skateboard. Here we go. Uno, dos, tres, and boom. Elephant. You gotta get that head right. Okay, watch this shape. Here's the head shape, head shape. And then, oh, there we go, out with the trunk. Now you've seen me do these before. Sometimes I'm, I'm pretty zippy. And so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna get that body leaning forward, arm coming out to the side. And there's one arm, and the other arm's gonna be back there. And there it is. Okay, and we'll bend there. And we're gonna squat down. And off to the side over here. Some sneakers. By the way, I loved skateboarding when I was a kid. And I would never do it now for fear of hurting my Drawing wrist, unfortunately, uh, but it was really so fun. There is a sketch. What do you think? So far, so good? All right, let's see if I can make this look good. Now, as usual, I can knock that sketch back a little bit or I can just draw right on top. I'll use this nice darker color I was using a moment ago. And here's where we have to have some confidence. One, two, and a one, and a two. And we're gonna go like this, and like that. And like this, <gasps> and back. And then I'm gonna have that happy little face underneath. This elephant is having a good time. Any skateboarders out there? Who amongst you is a skater? I wonder if there's anybody who's watching with their kids who remembers the Powell and Peralta days of dominance in skateboarding. I had a Lance Mountain Mini. So I don't know if that means anything to anybody out there, but maybe it does. Folks, look at these big curvilinear shapes I'm doing, okay? I'm really thinking about gesture when I draw this way, right? Big curves. All right, we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do that. I'm also thinking about that fabric and the way that it is moving, right? Or where it wrinkles up or folds. Oh boy, look at that. Skateboard. Oh, I just realized something. We're having like an X Games week, aren't we? Because yesterday, I believe, was snowboarding. So it's an X Games party. Let's hide that for a moment. Ah, there we go. It's coming to light. You can see everything. Feel pretty good about it. Let me know what you think in the chat. Did I nail it? Did we get it today? Did it happen? Did it work out? I hope so. There is a skateboarding elephant. Ta-da! Oh my goodness sakes, did I rush through that one or what? We made it though, we made it. 
I had a quick art tip for you that I really wanted to share, and I'd like to do that right now. Watch this, folks. Kids, try this. Here's this. Here's what we're gonna do. Oh, let me just actually, I just realized something, folks. I gotta get that sleeve. Whoop! Looking like it's got a little bit more form to it, right? Oh, I just can't help myself. Okay, there we go. Great suggestion. Happy to draw this one, and I hope you all like that. Um, here's my art tip. Have you ever tried to draw a shape in 3D? I want you to try something. This is fun. Just draw a little shape. I'm going to use green now for this because I like to just differentiate from what we're doing. I want you to try this. Draw a sort of a rectangular shape. Okay. And then draw a dot somewhere, maybe around here. And what you do is you connect the corners of your shape. Use a ruler for this if you want, or the edge of a book or something like that. Connect the corners to that dot. Okay. See what's happening to this shape? And then travel back somewhere along these lines that you've just drawn and draw the same line from your rectangle. So look, I have this horizontal line. I'm gonna draw it here and I'm gonna stop. I'm drawing it in between those lines I just drew back to that circle, right? That little dot. And then the same thing here, I've got a, a line here that's vertical up and down, right? I'll draw that too. And then what you do is if you do this with pencil and do it really, really lightly, you just erase the rest of the lines, right? And look what happens. Now we have the illusion that this is a box moving towards us, right? A three-dimensional shape. If I draw a triangle up here, right? And then I connect back those corners to that little dot, and then draw that same line here. What happens when I erase these? Same thing. I could even color in this side and make it look like it's got a shadow underneath it, something like that. Maybe I could color in this side like that. 